I, Christia Freeland, do solemnly and sincerely promise and swear that I will truly and faithfully, and to the best of my skill and knowledge, execute the powers and trusts reposed in me as Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Finance. An historic moment as Christia Freeland is sworn in as the first woman to serve as Canada's finance minister. Freeland takes over after Bill Morneau stepped down on Monday night. Analysts say Freeland is a steady, reliable hand the prime minister will be counting on after weeks of tumult over the WE Charity controversy. She has done what was needed, and when you're in caucus, your boss is the prime minister. You know, I mean, the people are always going to be the boss. But really, when you're in caucus, the PM needs you to do a job to support him in his role and support the government in what it has to do. In addition to Freeland taking over at finance, Dominic LeBlanc returns to take over the Ministry of Intergovernmental Affairs. Morneau stepped down after weeks of conflict of interest allegations. The federal liberals say Morneau's resignation was his own choice, but some are skeptical after it was learned that two of Morneau's family have worked for WE, and Morneau himself revealed that he forgot to pay back expenses incurred on We Charity trips in 2017. For me, always to be an effective minister, my motto has been to have open, candid conversations with the Prime Minister in, pub in private, but also to have a united front when we come out in public. Freeland is highly regarded by some opposition and provincial leaders. The Bloc Québécois wanted her to take over as Prime Minister when they asked Justin Trudeau to resign at the height of the WE scandal. And Ontario's Doug Ford has repeatedly praised Freeland for her work coordinating the provincial federal response to COVID-19. However, opposition leaders say they want more than just a new leader at the finance ministry. If, that, if the standard is that Bill Morneau should resign for three convictions under the Ethics Act, then Justin Trudeau should resign as well. The resignation of the finance minister changes nothing. It it does not change. It doesn't change anything in terms of the way this Liberal government has been working. The Prime Minister also announcing that he's asked the Governor General to prorogue Parliament to buy time for a post-pandemic recovery plan. Trudeau says a throne speech will happen on September 23rd, which will include a confidence vote. A failure on that vote will trigger a new election. Trudeau is drawing criticism after swearing during the 2015 election that he wouldn't use prorogation to escape scrutiny after a similar move by the previous Conservative government in 2008. We are prorowing Parliament to bring it back on exactly the same week it was supposed to come back anyway and force a confidence vote. We are taking a moment to recognize that the throne speech we delivered eight months ago had no mention of COVID-19, had no conception of the reality we find ourselves in right now. Pausing Parliament wouldn't just stop House of Commons business like COVID relief bills, but also the committees investigating the WE Charity scandal. In Ottawa, Shao Li Lee, City News.